Adam C and welcome back to the Cajun 420R. Today I'm going to be picking up my girlfriend and we're going to go down to the beach. She hasn't been in anything like this before so I'm going to get a little bit of a reaction from her at the performance of this 210 horsepower car that weighs only 560 kilograms so hopefully it'll be pretty good. We're going to go down to Dirtle Door in the Jurassic Coast but I'll tell you a bit more about that later. Hello, put it in the boot. As you open the boot? We got poppers. Oh okay. And we Is could, that it? We could open more. We could take the whole thing off, but <laughs> it's not good enough like that. Where do I put my sunglasses? <laughs> There's no glove box. How do you get in? <laughs> so you've got a popper there, and then you just kind of lift that. That's your arm rest. You lift that up. It kind of pins in there. And then you've got the uh, the gold wing with the Lambo doors. They're flaps, not doors. It's like a chitty chitty bang bang. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> they should have put like a little glove box underneath here. That would be perfect. Oh my god. At least I know I'm not going anywhere. It's very new. That's that way. I don't want to be twisted. Ten hours later. Okay. Okay. I'm nervous. You know, when you get in your conventional car, you just go like... I can't move. That's what we want. Can you close the door? Okay, then, then you put this... Pin that in there. I'll, I'll go easy on you. Is that the indicator? Yes. Wow, that's annoying. Well, I'll drive it like a granny. Okay. How's your hair? It, it's quick, but it's not. It's it's not dangerous quick. No, it feels dangerous. Does it? Good idea. I never carry cash, but today I did because I knew we'd need them for the car parks. And now we have no cash for the car parks. The so here we are at the Dirtle Door campsite, which I stayed at as a kid. No! We have parked up at Turtle Door. I've got my bag with me. I wouldn't normally carry, but it's for an essential item. <clears throat> Security. Now this is a pay and display car park, and the trouble of having a convertible like this is there's nowhere inside the car to put the ticket. It will just kind of blow away. Oh. So something I've done with the Cobra before is kind of put it behind there. So there we go, it's quite a windy car park, but the wind I've realised is coming this way, so I've parked at the top, so all of that dust goes over there and not into the cabin. I'm clever! So this is Dirtle Door, a naturally formed formation and one of Britain's most iconic coastal landmarks. We're going to now head to Portland Island, another interesting area. So we're going to head back into the Cape after having just had lunch. So we're going to enjoy ourselves and do a bit of exploring. It sound right, boy. Come on, Chloe, get in. What's this? That's the isolator. No, wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm going to put it here. So you don't lose it. <laughs> right, are we off? No! Onwards! No, 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 no. <laughs> Island and 
And in the middle of that island is a prison. It's got a nice view. What are you doing in the boat? Get out! <laughs> Great right. Yeah. It's what we came here for, and also the road that we just did. So Dirtle Door is somewhere, I don't think we can see it, somewhere over there. There's a green laner. Along there is a beach, and we can walk along it. Do you want to go into the prison? Okay. So we're going to go into the prison. We had a lady take a nice interest in the car, and the view is stunning here. So I was looking at some pictures of the car. Yeah, the lady was uh, wanting a picture for her son because he'd love it. He's going to be done that you miss that. So um, that was nice. So we're now going to drive into the prison because apparently there's a cafe at the top of the prison. I'll get thrown into prison! So we're now on a car park on top of the prison um, looking for some views. There's a weather orb over there. Uh, I, d I don't know where to go. Because that's not weird at all. This is a weird area. We're on an island, we've got a view, we're on a prison, there's an abandoned building, there's some horses, and of course, goats. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can I stroke you? <laughs> we get all the goats. Oh, so friendly. <laughs> Did he spit at you? Love him, I love him, I love him. <laughs> I don't know what these people are doing. It looks important and top secret. It's even time for a sticker showcase. Caution, may go sideways without warning on a Honda CRV. It genuinely says may go sideways without warning. I can see why they're at the prison because this is totally criminal. <laughs> so it has warmed up. We're going to leave the prison before we enter the prison and find somewhere else, specifically Lulworth Cove. Oh, ah. Uh, what have you done? I took the battery isolator out and it's still in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> That's best. It's oh so very pleasant. Wow, it kind of spells Adam. It's a Z! Feisty, a feisty Z. Ah, oh, speed bumps. Here we are. That is how you park a Caterham. So Lowerworth Cove is just down from Dirt or Door where we were earlier and they do some immense ice cream and the views are quite pleasant too. So we're going to spend a bit of time here then go down to Sandbanks later. So I've got Milky Bar and Clotted Cream Fudge and you have Milky Way and... Fair Roche. Dog Poo. So here we are at the cove and I love how the stream flows down into the ocean. But ice cream consumed, we're now going to head to Sandbanks for a meal and a bit of car spotting hopefully. Can't park there, mate! Right, so we are now in traffic um, for the ferry to get across to Sandbanks. It's fine. I'm bored. Oh. You have a go. You drive. Oh. There's probably something slightly illegal about that, but I don't know what it would be. <laughs> so Sandbanks is kind of the London of the south coast. There's a lot of wealthy people. There's cars with very short number plates driving by the other way, and we're hoping to see what we can see when we go there. We don't know what we're going to see. If we can see one Ferrari, that's a weird win. But we're essentially going there on the way home to have some food and uh, do a bit of car spotting. But I have no idea what's going to turn up. There's a few car spotters that are going to be about as well, but it is a third. Thursday evening, it's not like a Saturday evening or Friday or Sunday, so it's not going to be as good as it could have been, um, but uh, we should still have a nice time. Nice and juicy. They are rather juicy. Ah, we're moving. Take the wheel. I love how their warning of the ferry slipway is a car just totally oblivious to the land's edge and just nose diving into the water like, that could be you if it wasn't for this sign. Should be fine because the wheels are right at the front. Oh. 
So I've actually worked out that the time it took us to queue, get on the ferry and cross, we could have easily just driven around the bit that this ferry is getting us across and made it here without paying the £4.50. But it's an experience, isn't it? It's me! So unfortunately we do have to stay in our vehicle whilst we're here and, uh, oh, keep your roof up. Uh, here we go! We're definitely moving. We are already car spotting. Car spotters! No way! No. So I don't quite know what the plan is yet, but we have parked up at the side of the road with the lovely sun that is just about to set, and here is the 964 that was on the boat with us. Very cool. Oh, and we have a modified Volkswagen. Apparently there's a meet going on down there, or a small congregation of cars. So we're going to head down there, get back in the cage room and see what we can see. Oh look, is that the MX-5 we saw earlier? It's the same colour! What? So yes, this is the car meet that we have found. Loads of cars, we'll have a look in a little bit. But here we are. I can't believe I just saw another cage from the same colour. We have the TRD Celica. Oh, noises. More cars doing noises. Ah, it's, an it's, car. it's Chloe's favourite car! A Lotus Esprit! <laughs> Love it. And something... It's an MGB! Yeah! One for you, one for me. There it is, the MGB Roadster. With the cat flap cat. Cat flap cat. We heard a noise and we were excited, but I think it was the Duke. Oh, it was. Oh yes, the first Ferrari of the day. It's our 308 Dino GT4. And now we have a BMW 2002 with the Ferrari behind it. That is quite the sight. And of course a yellow 997. But we also have a string of modified cars entering the area as well. And the Duke entering a parking space. So it is a bit of a modified meeting down here and apparently that is pretty common even on a Thursday which today is so a lot of modified cars are lining up a lot of liquid yellow which I adore and I'm part behind this Toyota who is also here for the meet if you should call that. I'm not ignoring the Corolla who has been debadged. Yeah! And I am part behind in the cage room and the Mercedes who is completely on the floor in many different colours. We've got the Nismo Duke with the Skoda behind and this is an MX-5 that we saw earlier today and I genuinely did not expect to see it once again but here it is with the teeth looking pretty angry and the lazy eyes there as well. He is with the Seat and the very dirty diesel very evidently and the, the Polo behind, the green Scirocco, I think the Celica is just tucked behind the Fiat 500. There he is in turquoise with white wheels with the i30N parked behind and we're just enjoying the sunny a nice lineup of cars, seeing what else we can see driving past, which apparently will be quite a lot. Oh my god, it's an RX-7. Got it. Check that out. It's a Z. Oh yes, a 991 GT3 RS. Lawful up. Subaru making an appearance. So cars are leaving, so I've been pushing the Caitrim out of the way. It's so easy, I didn't need to drive it. Literally, to let everyone out, I just pull the car back. There goes the shark. Oh, more rivals with wraps. Oh, there's an S14! Purple with gold wheels. It's a proper, it's like a drive-by car show. We've got the G-Wagon next, MX-5's coming back. A, a, one of those. Oh, dear. What an evening, what a day. And a Civic with black parts on it. As the GT3 RS makes his return past the crowd with the same power to weight ratio as the Caterham, just saying. And an MGB GT! <laughs> and here of course is the RX-7 that drove by earlier. He is now parked up looking wonderful in the evening sun as the cyclists make an appearance. We've got liquid yellow cars making a disappearance as well as the Seat. They're going to do a Yui. Cars are arriving as cars are leaving, I don't know. 
such a lovely colour. Yes! 48 pista! Oh, that's more like what I was expecting here, but the variety is nice. The bike's making noise, it's got the IS200 behind it with the black body kit on it. Cruising past. Oh, the Civic's brave. Bumperless as well. Noises, it's a very nice <laughs> KTM doing some noises in someone 22. Now I was hoping this would come down. We've got the Land Rover and a chromed Audi R8. Check that out. Awesome in the sunshine. Oh, we've got the McLaren turning up now in matte black. 600 LT with the Petronas edition A45 AMG, apparently the only one in England in this colour. And another A45 with the R8 who has found a space further up. The sun is looking so beautiful. Oh, there's an R33 Skyline. That's a nice chrome gold wing. As the 600 LT makes his welcomed return past the V8 Vantage, everything looking stunning in this lighting. Golden hour of the evening. As the MX-5 pulls into another little car meet down there with some of the regulars. Oh, it's a fish. That's cool. So we're going to get some fish and chips because we are by the sea. It's a bit whiffy, a bit uh, pooey, this beach. Ha. It's calm, it's tranquil. The sun is now not on it at all because it's setting over there. Oh, look at that. Not much can get better than a setting sun over the water. But as the evening draws to a close after having some lovely fish and chips, I'm going to conclude the video now. So we've got a night time drive about two hours back in the Catrum. So I hope you enjoyed that video. We're starting off with a reaction with Chloe and then going down to the south coast and enjoying ourselves and finishing off with a bit of a car meet that's still kind of behind me. So follow me on Instagram for all the pictures and behind the scenes action of what I get up to. But for now, thanks for watching.